setting the world record in 1954 for the distance travelled by a miniature steam locomotive. The record was broken by a 7.25 inch gauge LNER L1 tank locomotive at the West Riding Small Locomotive Society near Leeds in the United Kingdom. This video was taken from some old 1954 cine film and there is no soundtrack. And this particular engine was owned by a friend of mine for quite a few years. Sadly, as time went on he had to sell it. When I worked on the engine I noticed that the inner copper tanks where the water's held inside the main side tanks was fabricated from what was left of a domestic hot water cylinder. You could even see the patches that had been soldered in position to cover the original openings when it was a water cylinder. And as this engine was being built shortly after World War II, I'm assuming that the shortage of metals was a problem. So the record attempt begins. This is a very interesting piece of footage. Watch it to the end, you'll be surprised. First of all, the engine sets off and then periodically the drivers change. One leaps off the train and the other one leaps on. This is a health and safety nightmare, I know, but things were different in 1954. Even I was only one year old at that time. Periodically the engine needed refilling with oil, so this is how they did that. A man ran along the side with an oil can and put some steam oil in the lubricator at the front of the engine. Lubrication of the motion was also a bit of a problem, and now it's two men running along the track squirting oil at the motion. And here the driver's been given a watering can to top up the engine with water. This clip isn't speeded up, the engine really was going at that speed. And once again, more water required. These days at West Riding Small Locomotive Society, there is a ground level track, and I've actually driven this engine on the ground level track. Here the engine slowed down so a man can run along the side of it, filling up the auxiliary water tank that the driver sat on. Not forgetting the constant supply of coal needed, and even more water. This video is edited, it's not in real time, but you can see all the processes involved. The driver's changed again, and I'm sure they must have practiced this because it's not easy to do. This attempt at a 100 mile world record took quite a long time, and as you can see, 18 miles is 150 laps, so you can work out how long the track is. I think it is about one eighth of a mile in total. And once again in this part of the clip, two men are squirting oil at all the moving parts of the motion along the side of the engine. I would think that after the engine passed this point, some of the crew would clean off the surplus oil on the track. Once again, refilling the cylinder lubricator oil tank, and off it goes. 23 miles. This for me is a real time capsule. I spent a lot of time running my engines around this track, although quite a lot of years after this. And so I appreciate the effort it must have taken to run for 100 miles continuous on the back of one of these. Jumping on a bit now, 68 miles has been covered. 560 laps. I'll just stop the video to read this sign. It says, non-stop distance record. The present record is just over 70 miles. Today's attempt will be made by Mr. A. Bamforth. He built the loco at his home. It is a seven and a quarter inch gauge model of an LNER design. Should this loco fail early, an attempt will be made by Mr. D. Graham and his five inch gauge Atlantic. One lap of the track is just under one eighth of a mile and 71 laps have been now covered. In this part of the clip, Mr. Albert Barnforth, who built the engine, is stood here in the middle of the people in his not-so-white overalls. And now the women have started fighting to see who gets in the photograph and who's got the best makeup. And yes, that looks like Mr. Albert Barnforth climbing back on his engine for yet another lap, or two, or ten, or maybe twenty. Not only was a 70 miles record beaten, Albert Barnforth's L1 set the new world record. That's the end of the video. The world record in 1954 for the distance travelled by a miniature steam locomotive was 100 miles 516 yards. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it interesting.